Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk about a topic that a lot of y'all have been asking about lately, um, and so I decided to do some research for you about taxes on your bitcoins and other coins. And this is particularly um, for U.S. citizens and as of July 2017, so things might change. Definitely do your own research to confirm everything I say. So the most important thing is to determine what coins are even considered. And the IRS put out a notice um, saying that Bitcoins and other similar coins are to be considered property, not currency. And so that means when you exchange property, you might have capital income and need to cal uh, calculate capital gains. Another thing to note is that there are three important moments you need to consider, and that is acquiring the coins, um, holding the coins, and disposing of the coins. And we'll dive into this a little bit more shortly. So because it's property, there's a lot of things that are taxable events for um, things that you might do with coins. The only thing that's not taxable is if you just buy and hold throughout the year. So when you sell it for currency, like US dollars, you can trade it, buy goods and services, donate, mine, receive a salary in coins, or have some stolen, those are all taxable events. So capital gains, how to calculate them. Um, so the first thing to do is determine cost basis, and that's basically what you bought them for. And you can do that um, on the date it's received or bought, and basically you have to do it in a reasonable and consistent manner. So you can take the day's high price, day's low price, average price, etc., um, but just basically, it has to be applied consistently across the board. Um, another thing is that you can consider exchange fees in a calculation. So that might be more beneficial since you can say, I bought it for more and sold it for less and get a better um, calculation on your taxes. So basically, capital gains is profit that you make after selling or exchanging these coins. Um, but something to consider is that there's different lots and what those what that means is that when you buy coins they can be grouped into different sets that you buy at different prices and on different days and so how do you identify which one you're actually selling or using um, well there's a few different ways but you just have to be consistent once again so there's like first in first out like the one that you bought the longest ago is the first one you you spend or use um, and or last in first out, which is the one you acquired most recently, is the one that you sell um, the first, or specifically identify which lot. Many different ways you have to be consistent with your accounting. Um, also, for capital gains long term, if you hold more than a year, you get better tax rates. Short term, you're usually taxed with ordinary income, so it depends on what your federal income tax bracket is at that's what you would tax, tax your short-term gains at. Um, but you can also consider capital losses, which can reduce your overall taxes if you sold or spent coins for less than what you got them for. Um, so how you do this is pretty simple. You combine your gains and losses, and you might get a net loss. But you have to do it for long-term and short-term gains separately. If you have a net loss, you can use it to reduce your income um, up to 3000 a year anything more has to be carried to the next year so one thing that's kind of um, unintuitive is crypto to crypto chain exchanges so like if you use Bitcoin and trade it for like Sia coins for example um, that's a crypto to crypto exchange and so people are wondering if you can do like kind exchanges which means you pass along the cost basis and just wait until later to calculate taxes once you like sell it for USD for example um, but people are saying they're unsure if like kind rules apply and it's better to be safe and assume it doesn't apply um, but if you do assume it applies be sure to recalculate the IRS puts out new rules um, if it's not like kind then you can consider an exchange like selling the first coin for US dollars and then find coin number two with the same amount of US dollars. So that makes it a taxable event because you have to calculate gains or losses at the point of time of selling. Spending money also counts though. So even buying a cup of coffee is, tax is taxable since this is considered property and not currency. 
And so if you bought a $5 cup of coffee with a coin that you bought for 10 cents, then you'll have to pay capital gains on that cup of coffee. So definitely you need to be keeping track of all spending events. Some companies have even started paying people um, coins as salary. In that case, you need to also determine your cost basis, which is defined as the fair value of goods or services. For example, if you, um, if you select that you want to get 10% of your $2,000 monthly salary as bitcoins, then your cost basis would be 200 at that given date and time. Or if you can't get the fair value that way, then market value works too. Um, so like what it's going on at certain exchanges on that day. Mining coins also counts, can be considered income. So definitely record the fair value on the date you receive them. But what about for all coins that don't have a um, exchange rate on any given day? So what you can do there is convert it to Bitcoin and then to US dollars. Um, so there are many tax forms you need to take note of when it's time to fill out your forms. And it's a little bit difficult because exchanges don't provide you with a 1099 form, which kind of tells you, um, does all the math for you. As far as I know, most of them do not do this. So you'll have to fill out a ten Schedule D um, Form 1040 for capital gains and losses and fill out the details in Form 8949. And you'll need to input all the details like the date, the cost, proceeds, gain and loss, etc. So keep really careful records. And so some resources that are good um, that I use to create this presentation and that you should do um, later come tax season is Google for the most recent information. Rules like this may change at a moment's notice. Um, Investopedia has a good article on this. Bitcoin.tax has some good resources. It also does a lot of the accounting for you if you connect popular exchanges to their service. Um, or you can just hire a CPA or tax attorney because this stuff is complicated and you don't want to get audited later. Um, so I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please comment below and definitely click here to subscribe and stay tuned for more coming very soon.